Good Friday evening, Midlands. I'm Chief Meteorologist Efren Afonte, and we didn't break the record. Didn't hit 100 degrees, but it was hot enough. At Columbia Metropolitan Airport, we started off a low of 75, ended up with a high of 98. While in downtown Columbia, we started off at 73, ended up with a high of 97 degrees. The clouds that we had earlier today may have impeded us hitting triple temperatures, but by the time we got into the early evening, we had a lot of sunshine. It was hot and humid. Downtown Columbia was at 95. The heat index felt more like 101, and that was in the shade. Now, the clouds that we had finally eroded away. What our setup is, is an area of low pressure started to move through, gave us a little bit of clouds, but associated with the surface trough, all the showers and thunderstorms have really been on the southern edge along by the, uh, by the trough. We're not expecting anything at all for it tonight. Tomorrow, different story. In the morning, we'll start off maybe with a few clouds, a low of 76 degrees. Tomorrow, it'll be partly sunny, possibly a high of 101 with a heat index of 109, but some of us could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm midday, mid-afternoon into the early evening. And the one thing that we're watching very carefully is there's a development or potential development right now just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula, south of the Gulf of Mexico's mouth. 80% chance of development over the next seven days. Regardless of what that development comes to fruition, the one thing we're watching is there's gonna be a ton of moisture that's gonna be pulled out of the Gulf and it's gonna get pushed not only into the areas around Florida, but into Georgia and the Carolinas. And that is gonna really kick up the amount of rainfall that we're expecting. Possibly Sunday, going into Monday, especially on Monday, and even as far down as Tuesday, there's the potential for some heavy rainfall, not only in the Midlands, but all throughout the Palmetto State. So those thunderstorms will start moving in Sunday. Possible downpours, a high of 93. Again, the heaviest rainfall will likely be on Monday with those scattered storms, a high of 88. Our temperatures continue to go down, but our storm chances still stick around on Tuesday and Wednesday as highs will be in the mid 80s. But once all this clears out, and we haven't seen this for a while, Thursday and Friday, a lot of sunshine returns. High temperature on Thursday, 83 to possibly 82 by Friday.